Hey my little uh, friends and big friends and everybody who's watching me Metal Chef Mad Max Our chicken Tibaka, Tiplionek Tibaka finishing in the oven And I'm gonna do some simple delicious healthy salad To go with it, it's a Georgian recipe so let's go begin. I got my trusted king jaw, my chef knife, and let's go with some fresh tomatoes. Okay, don't really murder them. Make a little bit uh, nice chunks. All right, goes to the salad bowl which is going to be mixing bowl and serving bowl at the same time we're gonna rock out the tomatoes when you see me rock out with my uh, no that's different uh, story that was Snoop Doggy Dog during comedy show a couple weeks ago and it was hilarious but I'll tell you some other time about it so we got tomatoes rocking and I like to remove the white parts so everything gets nice and tender okay I'm rocking out those tomatoes I'll tell you I was in Georgia a couple times I believe really cool people really nice really cool cuisine you know you have to remember uh, this part of the world it was uh, in the middle of influences, uh, the Persians wanted, the Ottomans wanted, the Arabs wanted, the Russians wanted, uh, the Mongols run through the area. It was few uh, uh, Georgian kingdoms and principalities back in the time, and uh, tell ya, those people like to fight. They fight, they kicking each other ass, you know, for a little bit. But that's enough of the history lesson. Let's go rock the cukes. What I did, I used my little cool toy and I removed parts of the skin from the cucumbers and I save it because it can be cool thing to do garni with it. Just cut it at a quarters. Like that. It's very fast salad. It's really cool dish you know you can do all right and let's go chop up be careful with your fingers always be careful with the weapons with the kitchen tools you know they sharp and usually they when they go through the fingers and hands ah uh, really easy and it's bleeding and messy all right the cucumber is in. I'm gonna use one quarter of jalapeno. I remove the seeds and ribs. Let's go rock that baby out too. All right. I want all the ingredients be visible in the salad. I don't want to chop them too coarsely. Then we're gonna rock it out some. wrapped up. Squeeze a little bit so on and release the delicious onion juices and I got a little bit of the green onion so I'm gonna use it to boom 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 all right that goes to the ball and then I chopped up some the lead, you know, that was uh, curly parsley, that's what I have, so I'm adding. Okay, and a little bit of basil, not much. Because I don't want to get really overwhelmed with the basil, but it will add nice sweetness to the salad. So you roll basil, like you roll your tobacco and other funky stuff. Rough chop, go inside. And that's all she wrote for chopping ingredients I don't have any Georgian uh, cheese uh, sheep cheese I will use the uh, Italian 
uh, Santa Ricotta. It's uh, like a feta cheese, but it's from Italy, a little bit different uh, flavor, a little bit milder than feta. And I'll add that to my chopped ingredients, okay? Be careful with the salt, salt ricotta, it's salty, so that's all the ingredients for my salad. And I'm gonna do some quick dressing. Alright. Excuse me for a second, my friends. I have to find a little ball. Little ball goes in. And we're gonna do some folking. Uh, okay. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. Again, very easy dressing. I try to make my home my dressings as much as I can. Lemon, folk, 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 folk. So all the juices goes in. Folk, 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 folk. And it's nice lemony flavor goes into the ball then because I am guy who likes fusion cuisine I'm going to add a little bit of the apple cider vinegar a little American touch okay and then I'm gonna add some kind of neutral oil but it's blend of the extra virgin with the soy oil and be careful of the salt, but we have to add a little bit of salt because our cheese is salty. And fresh cracked black goes in the dressing too. Because fresh cracked black it's so irresistible and addictive. Alright, we got that rock and rolling. And where's my whisk? Well, whisk it's missing in action, so you always get the trusted fork and mix all the ingredients of the uh, citrus in vinegar. Vinaigrette, it's sticking up a little bit. Looks good, looks good. And meantime, the weapons always have to be safe in the holster. The King Zhao, my trusted King Zhao, my chef knife got washed. Go to weapon holster. I got this pretty cool pod I'm gonna show you. I got uh, somewhere, I don't remember where. It's really tall and not too wild. It's perfect for cooking long pasta and for cooking asparagus. So I salt the water and asparagus go. No, you mess it up, Maxi. You put too much water so it will be overflowing. So please don't let it happen again because you're gonna be spanked. Alright. Excess water goes here, the asparagus goes in, we're gonna pose the baby really fast. Fast, what's going on with my spirits today? I didn't have any Red Bull yet, but I'm getting on the wild side. Okay, all the stuff uh, we don't need goes here, area, it's nice and neat and clean. And in the meantime, we're gonna check and a chicken. Zipaka, how it's doing. Let's go see my doggy dogs. Ah ha! Chicken Zipaka. Looking delicious, looking delicious. So what I'm gonna do, we're going to get a little bit of my vinaigrette I make earlier, which goes to my salad. It's very citrusy. Peppery. I'm going to add to this some uh, Hungarian paprika. Sweet, not spicy one. 
I'm in mean, a mixy, mixy, mixy. So this vinaigrette turned a little bit reddish, and I'm gonna brush my teplonek tibaka really good with it. So it's nice and shiny, like a shiny armor. All right, all over the place, all over. Brush it, paint it, be like a painter, be like a artist, be like a creator who just adding the flavor, adding the textures and colors to your dish, making good things. All right, let's go present the chicken sibaka. It's almost finished. I'm gonna just uh, crisp it up the skin after I add my. Uh, citrusy uh, papriki mixture goes back to the oven for another five minutes and a 450 degrees and that will be done very cool recipe I will mention again I learned it from the Alex my beloved friend love you Alex love your family Anya Maria with your family Yelena Tia Slicha Tia Slicha with your family love you people and what we're gonna do we're gonna dress our salad okay the dressing we have to taste it because without tasting it's wasting tastes good and let's go mix this baby up. So we got the dressing to the salad. Let the salad uh, stay in the fridge and get all the ingredients incorporated and marinated and macerated and uh, obligated to each other. Don't kill it, just you know, gently mix. Again, we have to taste it. Another spoon, no double dipping, please. Hey, that's some more cheese, man. Pinch of salt. And a little splits of vinegar. Guys, this salad so refreshing, so delicious. Brings the memories of me running on the mountains of Caucasus when I was a young man. Very foolish drinking vodka straight up from the bottle of my Georgian friend smoking cigarettes in a gas station, get it to blow up the whole place. And an end of it. You can garnish a little bit with the, those peels from the cucumber. So you got it, my Georgian veggie salad, which is going to be served with the Tsieplonek Tsibaka. Chicken a la Tsibaka. Alright, that's what I got for today. Love you people. Don't be afraid, try it international cuisine. Got any question, email me or send me a message. I'll answer, I'll help you out. Alright, I love you guys. Keep on rock and rolling. Mellow Chef Mad Max, love ya. And be good to each other. Booyah! Shake it! Yes!